Hey, what's up you guys? So today's video is gonna try and help you get better at Battlefield 5. Now, if you're new to Battlefield series and you just got Battlefield 5, hopefully this 12 tip video can help you out, you know, get better in the new play style. And if you've been with the Battlefield series for a while and are moving over to Battlefield 5, hopefully this can help you get uh, just, you know, get in the rhythm with Battlefield 5 if you're just starting. Uh, it's kind of a new play style, there's new features and game modes but um hopefully this can help you guys out but before we get into this video follow my instagram twitter and twitch all links in the description and if you have not subscribed to this channel please make sure you subscribe uh also if you want to check out some clothes and maybe get some gear uh go to sosickclothing.co for some nice clothes get 15 percent off if you use my code brian um, if you don't, that's totally okay, but it'll help support this channel, and uh, yeah, I'd be greatly appreciated. But other than that, let's get into the video. Coming in at number one, and it's simple, find a gun you like and stick with it. Uh, so a lot of new players will just be trying out new random guns, which is good. But also, you need to find a gun that you like and stick with it. If you find a gun, and it's only the second gun, which is the Suomi for the medic class, which is definitely my favorite gun. But if you find that gun and you like it and you just wanna just keep grinding with it, do it. You'll get a ton of kills. You can get a ton of uh, skins, camos, sights, all that stuff for your gun if you just progress it and get better with that single gun. Um, but definitely try out the guns in the class and make sure you like the guns and uh, aren't missing out. But definitely stick to the guns that you like. Alrighty, coming in at number two is add specializations that you personally like to your soldiers' guns. So, basically, the specializations are either for like hip fire or aiming down sight. Now, they all vary based on the class and the gun, but those are going to be your basic uh, options. If you're in hip fire, go for the hip fire specializations, and if you're for an, if you're an aim down sights guy use those don't use what everyone else is telling you you got to go by your play style and uh, your personal whatever you want to call it play uh play style i guess <laughs> but um yeah definitely you got to choose what you want because if you're going off of whatever youtubers telling you to do you're not gonna get what your personal play style is and that's the big key you gotta you gotta know how you play you gotta know what guns you're gonna use and you gotta add the specialties uh, based on those informations those informations whatever the fuck that means but based on that info alrighty moving along on the list we got number three know when to hold for a revive and when to bleed out now this is pretty important if you actually think about it because if you're getting okay first of all people in battlefield 5 hate reviving so if you find guys that like to revive maybe hold for revive longer but if your team is getting pushed and you're getting demolished and there's no way you're getting a revive, don't hold for a revive and don't just not do anything. Actually skip so you can spawn quicker. And if you think you can get a revive based because like there's so many people pushing and you can stick it and stay on the front line instead of having to run back up, that could be the better play. But you gotta be smart enough to know what your decision needs to be. Alrighty, moving along, we got number four. The what? Number four, shoot while being still and crouch as well, guys. Because in real life, if you're running and shooting, obviously your accuracy is not going to be better. And now you guys can see right here that since I crouch, my recoil is not as bad as if I was standing up or running. Uh, so when you crouch, it just adds to the accuracy as if you were standing still. So basically, stand still, better accuracy, stand still and crouch, you're freaking, you ready to go. But, uh, you can still get kills while running, it's just harder and uh, more of a hassle. So if you're trying to go for long range kills, especially with like an SMG or an assault rifle, you're going to want to stay still and crouch. Maybe even prone. Alright, so number 5 on the list, similar to know when to bleed out and know when to hold for the revive, you gotta know when to revive people and when to not revive people. Now obviously right there you just saw me get smoked because I went for a dumb out in the open revive without even using a smoke, grenade, a smoke grenade or anything. 
but so if you're gonna go for a revive I just you gotta watch this wow uh, me and this guy just were reviving each other and holding down the spot totally in the open uh, but usually you're gonna want to use frag grenades and not frag grenades uh, smoke grenades to try and uh, stay in cover and to keep your guys in the fight up close but this me and this guy just this was awesome I remember this <laughs> He was just reviving me. I was reviving him. I felt like we were we we weren't even we didn't even talk. We just were we were connected, you know. When you connect with a random, I I totally want him in this fight too. I was like, there's no way I'm letting this guy die. But I think we eventually pushed up, and we actually survived. But he, we uh, we never heard from him again. And uh, now I'm thinking about that. Making me feel like shit. No, I'm kidding. But uh, yeah, that guy's cool. Alrighty, coming in at number six, pretty plain and easy. Resupply your team with ammo and bandages. God, I did it again. Bandages. So you're gonna want to resupply your team because Battlefield screws you and makes you have to use teamwork because they want that, which is great. But they make it so you need more ammo from your teammates, from ammo boxes, and some bandages as you only get one bandage to heal. So definitely work with your team. Uh, make sure you supply on your guys if you have uh, the what do you call it? The resources too. Don't be a dick. Uh, just just share. Come on. You know, you're on the same team fighting the enemy. Come on. Don't be a dick. But, uh, yes, share. <laughs> Alrighty, the next tip on the list is move as a unit. Teamwork is big. B.I.G. This isn't Call of Duty where you can just kind of like, I mean, you can, but you're not going to want to just rush point and run around willy-nilly, you know? You're going to get shit on by a team of 64 you know there's gonna be a lot of guys in some spots so you're gonna want some guys with you yes you can go off and just have a great route but you're gonna want to work as a team move as a team especially if you're trying to clear um, what do you call it if you're trying to clear a town and capture a flag you're gonna want to work as a team because the more guns the better uh, and since we're on capturing number eight is when you're capturing a flag get closer the closer you are, the faster you cap the flag, the faster you can get the fuck out of there and move to the next objective. Um, so as you can see, the closer you are, unless you're being contested, the closer you are to the flag, the quicker you, that flag will be able to be captured. Now people can, enemies can be in the zone and still mess this up, but the closer you are, the quicker you will cap. Alrighty, coming in at number 9 and one of my more favorite tips is spawn strategically to what's happening in the game. Now as you can see, we're losing D right now, so you're going to want to spawn so you can capture D and keep taking it. In this game, we're losing C and as you can see on the map, you're going to be able to see C being lost. So spawning on, a, spawning on a flag that you're losing can definitely make all the difference in the world because if you have one guy in that zone, they cannot completely take it. That means your guys can, uh, I think you guys can spawn uh, on that flag still, if you still had it. But you gotta spawn strategically to where you need it. Uh, if you're losing a flag, definitely spawn there. Or if your buddies are being under fire, you're gonna wanna help out wherever you're needed. Number 10, go for the fucking objective. So many guys just run around and do nothing. This isn't Call of Duty. You're gonna want to go for the goddamn objective. Don't just be sniping in the spawn, all right? Let's see what. Yeah. Please don't sit in the fucking spawn unless you're a god at sniping, all right? You can definitely go sniper, go 62 and 0, or you know, have a crazy game. Not a lot of players can do that, and especially if you're a new player, you're not gonna have games like that. So you're gonna want to push with your team. Go to objectives, capture those fucking objectives, have a good time with your teammates, and do good. It's the worst playing with players that don't go for the objective because you're trying so hard to capture D, you're racking up the kills, but then you got no guys for revives, no guys to help. It's just ridiculous. Uh, and as you can see, when you have. Oh my god, look at this guy. Fuck. <laughs> I remember that. But when you have teammates going to capture a flag with you, it makes all the difference in the world, and it just it makes you you can make a game go by so quick if you're just moving through this, uh, moving through the flags. 
All right, now to the second to last tip. We're gonna go for don't camp too long when you're sniping. You wanna stay mobile. A lot of snipers, oh my god, that quick scope. Fuck, dude. I don't even snipe. That quick scope was fucking dirty, all right? I can't say shit. But anyways, you wanna move around when you're sniping because you're gonna, I, I just know, I've killed so many snipers that just sit there. You can be seen so easily with your telescope uh, flare your lens flare, I think is what it's called. So you're very vulnerable when you're just camping in one spot. So you're gonna wanna move around, make sure you can't get shot too much. And as you can see from this, you're gonna die, of course, especially if you're being an aggressive sniper, but you're gonna be able to stay alive more if you're moving around and not just camping. Uh, so definitely stay mobile, run around, and uh, switch cover, especially when you're getting shot at. Alrighty, now for the last tip, we're gonna go with build your own cover and fortifications. Now this is so cool that in Battle 5 you can do this. And I don't know how many times I have been killed because I had no fortifications, nothing to hide behind because snipers are just spraying the shit out of me. And now that I've learned to build things like at the beginning of the matches, it helps so much and it keeps me alive. It takes my total deaths down in the whole game, guys. So your ratio, your KD ratio will be even better and you'll stay alive longer and hold positions better. Um, so since you can build fortifications, you can also break it with explosives. Now after you, uh, your build has been uh, destroyed by explosives, I don't know how I don't see this guy right away, but I am so lucky I got that kill. But uh, you can explode, you can destroy fortifications. So basically after your fucking nicely built sandcastle fortification gets blown up, I don't know how this guy doesn't die also. But after they blow up your shit, you can build it right back up. But anyways guys, if you're new to the game, hopefully this helped out uh, with learning how Battlefield works. And if you've been with Battlefield, hopefully you guys have learned some new strategies in this new Battlefield 5 game. Now uh, hopefully you guys can have some more fun, maybe get some more kills, and uh, have a good time, you know? Um, but I'll definitely have some more videos in how to get you know more kills and just get better in battlefield uh whether it's flanking or just you know learning how to get some more strategies and be a better squad leader whatever it is so definitely follow uh, all the links in the description and stay tuned and watch all my videos guys but other than that have a good day and thanks for watching